find the first partial derivatives for the following function. S of yz is equal to 2 times z cubed times cotangent of yz. So we can see that this is a function of y and z. So we'll have two partial derivatives. The first one is to find the partial derivative of the function s with respect to y. So we can alternatively write this as s sub y. And one thing that we want to keep in mind as we proceed here is that if we're differentiating with respect to y, we'll treat z like a constant. Or a real number. So when we're differentiating this function here with respect to y, so we have d dy of the given function s of yz, and we're taking d dy of both sides here, so we have d dy of 2 z cubed cotangent of yz. We can observe that this 2 z cubed is a constant here. So we can pull that out in front and kind of ignore it, just like you would with a real number. So we have the partial derivative of s with respect to y will be equal to 2 z cubed. And now we're going to multiply this by the derivative of the trig function here, this cotangent of yz. So we'll have the derivative of cotangent is going to give us minus cosecant squared of yz. And then we want to multiply this by the derivative of the inside, which is just multiplying by the constant z. So we can rewrite this so it looks nice. The derivative of s with respect to y is minus 2 z to the fourth times cosecant squared of yz. And now very similarly, we want to go ahead and find the second first order partial derivative, ds dz. And again, alternatively, we can write this as s sub z. So again, just as we did before, we want to make a little love note here to ourselves. Since we are differentiating with respect to z here, we're going to treat y like a constant. So we're treating y here like a real number. So we're going to take the d dz of both sides of the expression. d dz of 2 z cubed times cotangent of yz. So here, notice that on the right-hand side we have two z's. We have this z cubed, and then we have a z within the trig function. So we're going to need a product rule. So our partial derivative of the function s with respect to z, I'm going to keep my 2 on the outside here. So my product rule differentiating z cubed first will have 3z squared multiplied by cotangent of yz. And then this will be plus z cubed multiplied by the derivative of cotangent. So again, that's going to be minus cosecant squared, holding that inside constant, and then multiplying by the derivative of the inside here, which is just that constant y. And so let's rewrite this to make it look nice. This is going to be 2 multiplied by 3z squared times cotangent of yz minus z cubed y cosecant squared of yz. And there's really nothing wrong with this answer here. We could simplify a little bit further. We see we have a greatest common factor of z squared. So if I really wanted to make this look nice, we could say the derivative of s with respect to z is going to be 2z squared 
multiplied by 3 times cotangent of yz minus zy times cosecant squared of yz. And so those are our two first order partial derivatives.